Okay, so I was feeling a little sluggish today. So I just decided to, in like, in like the brain thing, so I decided just to go on a walk. I'm in the cornfield right now. Um, camera flip, let's go. Uh, I just decided to go for a walk. We're gonna walk up in the woods. Um, I got my backpack on. I should work on this. I got my backpack on and I'm um, just gonna try to find a little nook. There's this tree that I sometimes sit on that, hold on, I gotta jump this fence. Let's see, there's a barbed wire fence. I gotta jump this really quick. This is my property, by the way, I'm not trespassing. Um, there's this tree I usually sit on um, and I'm just hoping it's not windy. It's kind of windy out right now. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna kind of see what, uh, what nature has in store for us when we, uh, when we get to reading, reading the book. Oh my goodness. It's muddy out today. It's muddy. It's real muddy. Um, okay. So I'll be back when we get a little closer. This is, this is one of the best parts about living Whew, in kind of like the middle of nowhere. Is you get access to a wilderness like this. I've never not been able to come back in the woods and just go on a walk if I wanted to. This has always been, this has always been what I can do. So it's just nice. Man, I'm out of breath. I actually have a half marathon next Sunday. And I'm out of breath walking up that hill. Okay. Oh, I'm not gonna catch them. But there's some deer. No, I don't think I caught them. Okay. We're gonna try to find that good spot that I was in a few months ago. Hopefully there's not too much snow on it. And I'm just gonna read my book for, I don't know, half an hour or something, 20 minutes. It's kind of cold out. I wish I had chosen a better hoodie. Uh, this one isn't very insulated. So we'll kind of see what we, uh, see what happens, I don't know. I think. I think it was right there. I think I think it's right there is where I laid down. It's looking kind of cold. I think I've chosen right here for my area. Um, it's not. It's pretty secluded, so it's not very windy. I have a lot of trees blocking it. I'm thinking either right here, or maybe over on that stump. Hold on, let's check out the stump. This is a pretty good stump. This is a pretty good stump. I might... I will sit against the stump. And we will... Yeah! Yeah! Wilderness, this is a field. It's not like that's the wilderness or anything. I wish I brought snacks. Let me know. I'm gonna be doing some hiking videos. So let me know your favorite hiking snacks. Mine's just like an obscene amount of cliff bars. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get the book out and we're gonna read till I get too cold.
Okay, so that was like 20 minutes of reading. Um, I don't like to keep it too long because then, um, then I don't want to do it. I need to get like a stick to record. I'm just holding my phone out right now. Um, I don't like to keep it too long because then I don't want to do it. 20 minutes is usually fine for me. And then something I've been doing recently, which you might've seen, which you can see at the end of that time lapse is um, I meditate for two minutes. I'm um, just starting at two minutes, trying to do two minutes a day, sometime during the day. Um, actually brings me to my next point. Um, it's called Atomic Habits is the book I was reading. And that's one of the things that they say is if you have some habit that you want to start, start small, start small. Try before becoming someone that meditates every day, be becoming someone that meditates three times a day, become someone that meditates for two minutes a day and eventually you can scale it up. So that's what I'm doing right now. Man, my arm is so tired already. Is I meditate for two minutes a day sometime during the day. I would love to in the morning, but it's just hard. So hold on, I'm gonna give you a little explanation of what I do for what I meditate. I'll sit you down right here. So what I do is I I sit down and I, I sit down crisscross. I usually put my hands like this or I, whatever, it doesn't matter. And you just breathe in through your nose and then out through your stomach. So and you try to envision the path the air is taking into your lungs, into your, into your, into your gut. I hate that they ever joke that I am aware that your lungs are not inside of your stomach or your gut. They're obviously in your chest. your stomach and hold it there for a second and then release it through the mouth the, the point of this is to work on your concentration and by working on your concentration what you can do is you, you can you can put this to other tasks whether that's working on work um and talking to someone you can focus on what they're talking about what you're doing because you're practicing, you're training your brain to focus on the on you breathing. You focus on your breathing, and it's gonna be hard. It's it's so hard. It's it's oh my goodness, I can't explain how hard it is. I dare you to watch the last like five seconds again, but you do it like this. It's so it's so so worth it. It's like just that mental clarity and being able to being able to disconnect from everything that's around you. It's fantastic. Honestly, it's honestly the greatest thing. So, you know, during it, you're going to have like, you're going to breathe. And then like, you might like in the process of like in a 3D realm, picturing the air going back, you're going to like picture your tongue or something. And then you're going to be like, oh, tongue, food, thinking of a cheeseburger. Oh my God, I want a cheeseburger so bad. So... That's the difficult part. Which we're gonna walk for a minute now. That's the difficult part about the meditation is your mind wants to wander so much. And in the the whole thing and what they say in there's a guide I looked up online on how to meditate. We're gonna stand on this little stump in the middle of the woods. The thing that it talked about is instead of ripping your mind back to just thinking about your breath. What you're doing is you're coaxing it back. You're bringing it back. So think about, think about it like, like if I'm standing on this, if I'm standing on this log and let's say I have like a dog on a leash and the dog is my mind and it's running away, instead of yanking it back, I'm going to slowly pull it back and eventually it'll just stay next to me or eventually it might not run away as fast. 
right? And then the, the, the ultimate goal is to not even have the leash anymore and the dog just stands next to you. You don't have to worry about it running off. So instead of yanking it back, it's not gonna solve anything. You're gonna slowly pull it back and show it why it wants to be here. If that makes any sense, good. If not, I apologize, like Google meditation or something. Anyway, I'm just gonna do some more walking around um, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you in a few minutes. All right, what's up? Um, I didn't, this is the next day. I didn't end up uh, recording any later because I wanted to go work out with a friend. Um, we did a push day yesterday at the, at the at the gym. I'm gonna try and post the workout right here. Get out of here. Uh, I'm gonna post the workout right here. Uh, that's what we did yesterday. Um, and we made some delicious buffalo chicken uh, pizzas. Um, that I just, it's the easiest thing ever. Um, I'll have to show you guys sometime. Um, I just got out of the gym just now. Uh, it is, my phone's dead. I don't know what time it is. I think it's three. Um, or my watch is dead, not my phone. Um, so I did legs today. I'm gonna, this is my leg workout. Uh, it wasn't very, it wasn't very organized towards the end of it. I did some like oblique stuff and I wasn't like super, and I was, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. I stayed over at his house and I had a meeting this morning. So I didn't really have a chance to eat much besides just like a blueberry cliff bar. So that's all, that's all I've had today uh, besides pre-workout. So I'm ready to go home, smash some food. I'm so, so hungry right now. Um, I'm considering, so this is the protein powder that I use, um, farm fed strawberry dip and dots. It's delicious. But I only have water. If you mix, if you mix protein powder with water, you're probably a demon. Um, I might just have to do it though, because I'm I'm hungry. My body needs to needs some. Somebody just parked right next to me. What the heck? Um. So yeah, I might, I might end up devouring my entire mattress when I get back to my house if I don't eat something soon. So, yeah. Anyway, catch you later. that I am I'm so so hungry so I started the food before I started recording because I just wanted to get it ready so I have I uh, have a cup of rice cooking right now sorry I have half a cup I can't help that um I have a cup of rice cooking I'm gonna make a a uh, buffalo chicken pizza which is literally just you take a pita Okay, this is from um, Aldi. You put, I have shredded chicken, which I just put chicken breast in the um, crock pot for like a few hours. You get, and you shred it. Um, pressure cooker works too. Um, season it with whatever you like. I usually do, um, I usually do red pepper, red pepper flakes, salt pepper, um, cumin, like the generic, generic like taco seasonings. Um, so you literally, you put the chicken on there, you put some like, some like Frank's Red Hot generic hot sauce, whatever you like, and then, um, and then I put like a serving of mozzarella on it, and then I pop it in the air fryer, 375 for eight minutes, and when the cheese starts to like brown a little bit on top, you know it's ready, it gets nice and crunchy, you cut it into four slices, it's delicious, it's high in protein, pretty low calories, like this, I think this is 180, you could do better by getting like a low calorie wrap, um, so 180 for the for the crust. I don't think that's that bad. Um, 80 in this, and um, the sauce is basically zero calorie. Um, and then 
with the chicken. I mean, chicken's pretty low calorie with the amount. I use like 150 grams of chicken, which is like 200, 200 calories, 100 calories, something like that. So it's pretty low calorie. Um, it tastes amazing. If I, if I had another pita, I was going to make two, but I only have one. Um, then I have some chicken breast leftover left over from the other day. This is literally just chicken breast with panko. Um, I put it in an, I put it in the panko, egg wash, then panko, and then I, I've seasoned the panko with the same seasoning as that, and then I popped it in the air fryer. So this is going to go over the rice. I'll probably throw some frozen veggies in there. Who knows? I'm starving. It is five o'clock. All I've eaten today is I, okay. I did have a protein shake on the way home. I mixed it with water. It wasn't that bad. Uh, the protein powder, I mixed it with water. It wasn't, it wasn't awful. Um, so I take that back. Um, and then I had a cliff bar earlier. So I've had 350 calories today and it is five o'clock. So I am starving. Um, trying to volume eat here. Um, I wanted to get a Boston cream donut on the way home. Favorite kind of donut. Um, but I decided against it because I, I haven't earned it. Right. So maybe tomorrow, maybe I'll do a video where I just eat a butt, butt ton of donuts. Who knows? Anyway, that's this. Um, I'm trying to eat pretty low or pretty high, uh, protein, low calorie because I want a bowl of this later, this limited edition, limited edition um chocolate chip cookie dough crave it's delicious i can only find it at one store across the road from my brother's house um it's just tiny little um tiny little convenience store i've never seen it anywhere else yeah i might throw something else in there um who knows maybe some greek yogurt later tonight um i don't we're just kind of gonna wing it i'm starving so yeah let's cook this okay Okay, so I have my food ready. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. So this is the chicken pizza. Hold on. So the lighting is awful in here. I promise it doesn't look that gross. This is the chicken pizza. This is the rice under, obviously. And this is the chicken. This is like, I don't know. I've, I, I've, I've been incorporating more vegetables into my diet, but... Um, Right now I'm hungry and I just want to eat a bunch of stuff. Um, so I'm getting better about um, putting. I'm getting better about putting veggies and other things into my diet. But for right now, I'm just trying worrying about getting in the protein. Um, I think I'm gonna make a, a fruit smoothie later. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so I pounded down. I pounded down that food. Um, I'm on a 2,500 calorie bulk right now, so I'm at about 1,600. That's that meal is like 1,400 right there. Um, so right now I'm just making a berry medley uh, smoothie. Um, probably just gonna have a little bit of Greek yogurt. I love, I love Greek yogurt. And then, so this is gonna be maybe like 100 calories. Um, a serving of 70. And this is gonna be 130. Um, and then I have a 90 calorie fudge bar that I get. I get those from Sam's. Um, Cause I have a sweet tooth, really, really bad, and they taste amazing. Yeah, you just wanna see? Uh, you wanna see my cat? She got her butt shaved. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> this is my cat Winnie. She loves me. She had her butt shaved, so we call it bald butt. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna blend that up really quick and then we'll see what we're working with, okay? Okay, so it blended up a little bit more than a serving, but um, this is like really watery. It kept freezing in there. I mean, yeah, it's good. I don't know what I expect. I don't know what I expect. It's delicious, it's delicious. Um, so that, I'm trying to decide if I want to add this or not. I want to add it. I don't think so. I like I'm gonna keep this gotta keep these keep this guy separate. I love me some Greek yogurt. Um big bowl. Also, if you don't have a digital scale, it makes things so much easier. I think there's like ten dollars on Amazon. You can get maybe if I got it from Walmart, I don't know. So yeah, I'm gonna get everything ready. 
we're gonna see what we're gonna eat it. We're gonna eat it, yeah. Pro tip for anybody that's trying to cut: use use smaller bowls. I used a big bowl, and this is what my Greek yogurt looks like. It looks like it looks like nothing. So it's all about like in your mind if you're trying to like just cut some calories here and there totally just use smaller bowls because even if i would have grabbed this bowl look at the difference in size it would have probably like filled this almost all the way so that was my mistake i mean i don't think i was gonna fall for it i know how much is there but if it helps you it's even just a little bit that's what i recommend using smaller things you'll grab less food that way um, if you're not like measuring it, whatever, whatever. So one thing that I've just learned again is that um, it's all about making sacrifices for certain things that you want. So I've decided to not be the fudge bar because I really, really want a bowl of cereal. Um, and I am like a certain amount of carbs that I wanna consume. So I'm not gonna, I'm not eating the fudge bar. It is only 90 calories, so I can aff like afford it calorie-wise, but I'm trying to stay in like the most deficit that I can, and I really, really, really want um, some Crave. Seriously, I cannot say this enough. This stuff is delicious. If you ever see it, buy it immediately. I'm gonna get to eating because I'm really hungry. I'll show you this smorgasbord once I get it all assembled, okay? Okay. Here's what we got cooking right now. So we have this, which is about 100 calories of berry juice, I guess. Um, got that. We got, hold on. Okay, so we got this, um, a lot of protein in it. This is satisfying. I love this so much. I love this bowl too, the little grabbers probably for soup, but I'm using it for that. And then we got this. This is my last meal of the day. Um, besides, hold on, I'll go over to, um, after this, I'm gonna have um, one scoop of this, um, about a tablespoon of my daily fiber. Uh, I take a fish oil pill every day. Um, and maybe some beetroot powder for something else. I don't know. Um, Listen, this is a very, this is a very scuffed, very like, I don't know. This is my first video, so uh, I'm kind of just taking it, whatever happens, just, you know, recording a bunch of stuff. Um, Cause you know, it was kind of stretched over a two day period. Um, yeah, just let me know if you want to see anything specific. This is kind of like, I'd like to do like challenges. Um, I'm like, I have, I have not, engulfed myself in food in so long so i'm gonna i'm gonna do i think a ten thousand calorie um challenge soon um who knows who knows uh, i'm running a marathon on the 20th of march um today is the 10th so have a little bit of time before that but yeah i'm gonna go eat this food and edit some videos so Welcome to the channel, Nick Potter. This is my cat. Her name is Winnie. And she has a bald butt because she's got shaved. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.